USDT, UST, DAI, and others. Are they really stable? And do any of you guys remember what it was like before stable coins? Back when good old Bitcoin really still ran the show. And honestly, Bitcoin still runs the show, guys. In this video, we're going to take a look at a few of these articles and everything that has happened in regards to USDT Tether almost losing its dollar peg and UST Terra Luna's stablecoin losing losing its dollar peg and going um, just to ridiculous prices along with Luna itself, guys. Smash the likes and, of course, hit that subscri subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you love crypto, you're definitely in the right place. And let's jump right on into it. So currently, guys, Terra's Luna coin is at one penny. <laughs> Still down 98%. It's absolutely flatlined. And as for Terra USD or ticker UST coin, which is Terra Luna's <laughs> stable coin, um, is trading at 46 cents, down a nice 39%. I love it, man. I mean, I don't love it. Don't get me wrong. I don't love it. I hate it for anybody that's lost money with this, right? Because you got you got the shaft, man. You basically, you got the shaft. If anybody, if you know what, what I'm talking about, you know what I mean. Uh, Terra, Terra Luna just, man, Luna and Terra just shafted you hard. So I'm sure you're probably pretty concerned right now, especially if you happen to have had some money in UST or if you've had some money in Terra Luna. I'm sure you're pretty concerned right now, right? Um, so we're going to go over these articles. I'm going to give you guys my opinion and we're going to see what they have to say about this. Um, I mentioned something earlier in a, in a live stream, in a chat, in, um, in another live stream. I said, look, at this point, if I was somebody that had been previously invested in Luna and this happened to me and I got wrecked, I don't know that I would ever be able to trust them again, ever. And really, honestly, should we be putting our trust in any of these? Yeah, yeah. So stable coins are struggling to survive the crypto crash. Okay, once pegged to the dollar, Terra's UST coin is now trading at 40 cents. I love how they, they worded that. Once pegged to the dollar, Terra's UST coin is now trading at 40 cents. It's been a crushing few days for the Terra project in a week that has been unforgiving for cryptocurrency as a whole. Over the past few days, the Terra USD, UST stable coin, which is meant to maintain a dollar peg, uncoupled dramatically from the $1 mark and dropped to a low of less than 30 cents on May 10th. In the latest update to the saga, <laughs> the belligerent project put its entire blockchain on halt for around two hours on Thursday, freezing user funds until the blockchain was unpaused. It's a severe measure, particularly given cryptocurrency's emphasis on decentralization. We have seen hard forks before, but this is the first time we've seen such a big decentralized blockchain system decide to halt the entire thing, said the CEO and founder of blockchain security firm Certec. The chaos has been fueled by a steep slide that has seen $200 billion in value wiped out in a single day. Bitcoin alone fell to below $25,000 on the morning of May 12th a price not seen since December 2020, and less than half of its peak in November 2021. Terror's problem started on May 9th, when the price of the UST stablecoin began to slide. And because of the way that algorithmic stablecoins operate, this caused a huge increase in the supply of the corresponding Luna cryptocurrency token, which is traded against UST in order to balance the price. Adding Luna tokens into circulation or removing them was previously sufficient to maintain a consistent price for UST. But the size of the price slide and the corresponding amount of Luna minted supply more than tripled in a matter of days and sent the two linked cryptocurrencies into a death spiral from which neither has been able to recover. Currently, UST is trading at around 40 cents instead of $1 and the value of Luna has been almost entirely wiped out, crashing from $100 to around one penny. Terror's Nightmare Week shows clearly that stablecoins, which theoretically should maintain a fixed price, can in reality very much be affected by bigger cryptocurrency market movements and affect those movements in return. And Terra isn't the only stablecoin facing problems in the wake of the cryptocurrency downturn. Tether's USDT stablecoin, the largest by circulation, sank well below its dollar peg to trade at 95 cents on some exchanges on Thursday morning. Crypto meltdown deepens as stablecoin Tether drops below dollar peg. So far, the sell-off has taken the combined market value of all cryptocurrencies to a whopping $1.2 trillion. 
Also, Bitcoin's correlation with the Nasdaq composite has been on the rise recently and is now up near its all-time highest level based on Refinitiv data. Nasdaq composite has tumbled around 8% so far this month. Not so stable coins. <laughs> Even stable coins backed by traditional assets were showing signs of stress on Thursday. Tether slipped below its $1 to $1 peg, hitting a low of $0.95 cents on Thursday based on CoinMarketCap data. And the lack of transparency provided by Tether on the quality of commercial paper they hold to back the peg made it the obvious next target, said BCB Group's Usher. However, Tether is a very different animal to Terra with a more proven ecosystem and I have far more confidence that when volatility subsides, it can regain its peg and stability, he said. Tether's chief technology officer said in a Twitter space, Spaces chat that the stablecoin had reduced its exposure to commercial paper over the last six months and now holds the majority of its reserves in U.S. Treasuries. So guys, what do you think? Has this actually helped fuel the cryptocurrency fire, as this article here says from CBSNews.com? Are these, are these um, stablecoins actually helping fuel the bear market here? Fueling the price action? I mean, obviously, we've got everything going on, right? It's not just crypto that's crashing, right? It's the it's overall financial markets as a whole, right? It's 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 the great reset, obviously. Basically, that's that's what we're seeing take place, guys. I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say that, you need to go Google it. But are these things doing more harm than good, man? Right? Are they doing more harm than good? Now, we haven't heard any bad news about stable coins such as like DAI. Um, but now Terra Luna, I like I said earlier, guys, how could you trust a project after being basically rug pulled? I mean, that's that's pretty much what happened with it, man. It got rug pulled. I mean, can you just imagine all the investors that likely took their profits, some that took their profits, right? on Bitcoin and altcoins before the crash took those profits and put them in something stable like UST only to see those profits get wiped out. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine taking profits like you you did good. You actually sold at the right moment right right before the big crash. You sold, you're really happy, you're excited, you got your profits, you secured those gains. And then you go and you move it into something you think is stable that's going to secure and, and, and hold your value there and, and, and keep your profits while the rest of the market's tanking, right? And waiting for the bottom so you can dump those profits back in, you know, whatever your strategy is. But then, but then, lo and behold, the stable coin loses its peg and you get, basically. And what does this mean for the overall cryptocurrency market as a whole? and investors faith in it the retreat of luna and terra usd signaled to investors that the broader crypto segment is at risk said edward moya senior market analyst at oanda latest crisis with stablecoins triggered the collapse of the 30,000 level which was a key entry point for many institutional investors moya said in a research note to investors adding that a stock market rebound could help cryptos confidence has been wanting in the crypto verse but it seems we are getting close to the end of the market sell-off and Nasdaq partnering with XP to launch cryptocurrency exchange in Brazil. Germany outlying favorable tax guidelines. Gains on Bitcoin and ETH sold after a year are tax free in Germany now. So guys, with the entire crypto markets absolutely just unstable and out of control right now, basically. I mean, literally, when, when, you're, when your stable coins are losing their dollar peg, it's out of control, right? It's out of control. But just to leave you, all, um, leave you all on a good note here at the end of this video. It's my opinion, as always, none of this is financial advice or investment advice. Invest at your own risk. But it's my opinion that when this all clears, when this is all said and done, all this FUD, all this fear, uncertainty, and doubt, when it's all said and done, there are going to be people that come out of this very wealthy. And it doesn't just have to be the big guy. It can also be you by making the right choices at the right time. Basically, you guys are all getting a second chance, pretty much. I mean, almost. We haven't went down that low just yet, but this is almost like me saying that I had a chance, a second chance at getting in crypto before 2017. Because, see, I got into crypto in 2018, right? So I would give anything to have been able to had a second chance to, to buy in 2017. 17, right? Or even a second chance to buy more in 2018. 
this is like a second chance, okay? If if Bitcoin continues to drop, if crypto markets continue to crash, and Bitcoin goes to prices below 20k, then that will absolutely be a life-changing second chance opportunity for many. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Basically, just covering the stable coins and the just the chaos around all the stable coins and Terra Luna and UST. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash up the likes and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new. And don't forget to check out the links in the description. Join Discord and check out our token project here at the channel, the AJC token or the Average Doe Crypto token. We got big things happening with it, and it's actually one coin that hasn't really lost any value during all this crash. So if you want to. Go check it out, do your own research and all that good stuff. Invest at your own risk. I'm not a financial advisor. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Should be going live tonight.